Now I just want to introduce you guys to Sonia who owns the house that I'm staying in. She is really, really cute and I want her to say hi. Tell you. Say hi, Sonia. Hello. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> to whom do I say hi? <laughs> just from people all over the world. Oh, all over the world. Okay. So this is Sonia and Sonia is Eight. how old are you? 89 years old, so I soon thought, to be 90 and not looking forward to <laughs> <laughs> So I wanted to ask you, because Sonia's 89 but she still is really healthy and active, um, so what are your sort of secrets or things that you do to help you stay healthy and happy at this age? I think because I am I in control of my own life. I have not to look after a family, which <laughs> usually was quite stressful. Mm -hmm. And the, th the other thing is I go to the gym every day and work out there an hour mm -hmm. and uh, strengthen my bones and stretch and so on. Mm. And then um, I have a, a quick meal, but not too healthy. <laughs> and um, so you make you make most of everything, though, don't you? You make most. I of make your everything. Yeah. I, yeah, even I bake the bread. Yeah, and, and uh, I make the soup and the salad. That That's is good. Cool. Yeah. yeah, but I still um, have cheese. <laughs> <laughs> and then you go for she goes for a swim every day, mostly every day. Yeah, in the ocean. Yeah, if the ocean is nice to me, then. Mm -hmm. I, most of the time I'm going every day and it is half an hour swim mm -hmm. and uh, then I just socialize at the at the beach and I feel that socializing with nice people mm -hmm. helps a lot yeah. to, to stay happy. So surrounding your pe yourself with positive uh, people. Yes, yes, absolutely, yes. Yeah. yeah. So that's the secret of my life, and and, I, and sometimes I have half a uh, half an hour nap. Oh yeah, in the afternoon, in the afternoon. when it is too hot, and uh, so I feel good again. Yeah. Okay. And that's what she does every day, and she looks amazing and feels amazing. So thank you for sharing. Thank you. Hi everyone. I am home alone tonight, or for the first part of the night. And I'm excited to make a massive salad for dinner tonight. Yeah, I have a whole heap of yummy ingredients which we got from the market over the weekend. So let me show you. So I'm going to be using some cos lettuce, some spinach leaves. I've got a cucumber, this giant avocado. Got some sauerkraut, red onion, and these really sweet, juicy cherry tomatoes. And then I've just got some coconut vinegar and coconut aminos for the dressing. I might put some ginger in there. going to the Volcano National Park Visitor Center and then we're going to drive all the way to the end of that road and then we're going to hike from there. Yeah. And we're yeah. going we're going with more experienced uh, people.
we're just walking back from the lava. Our legs are really, really sore. I'm really tired. <laughs> How long do you think we've been walking? Walking since like Our lava hunt this morning, and we after hiking for hours, we got back to the car at about 6:30 a.m. and Nick drove for about maybe five minutes before realizing that we were probably going to crash and die if we kept driving because we were so tired. So we stopped and slept in the car for about half an hour, and then Nick drove us all the way home. And we've basically just been sleeping all day because we've been so tired. But it was definitely well worth it. It was absolutely beautiful. And now we are going to the beach. It's about 6 o'clock in the evening and the sun sets at about 7. So we're going to go and watch the sunset and have a swim. Aloha. Good morning guys, it is 11.30 a.m. and I have two more days here on the big island until I have to leave. I'm just having some brekkie, I just finished some really yummy chai tea. I don't usually like chai tea but this blend was really really yummy. Almost tasted like coffee with like a hint of cinnamon. Uh, but yeah, it's got, like, it's got like black tea and herbs and spices, the traditional herbs and spices for chai. But yeah, I don't know why it's so good, but it's just so yummy. So I just finished that. And then I've got half of a large papaya. I never really liked papayas that much, um, but when I came to Hawaii, they just are so delicious. They're really rich and buttery and creamy, which is what I've always heard they're meant to be, but the ones I've tried in Australia just never, never were like that. They were just sort of, I don't know, a bit watery. So I'm gonna eat this for brekkie and do some work on my laptop. And if you don't already know, you should always eat a few of the seeds in the papaya as well because they're really good for killing any unnecessary bad bacteria or parasites in your system so I always just leave a few of them in there they don't taste the best but they're good for you but yeah so I think I've pretty much finished all of my adventures in Hawaii the walk to the lava really took it out of us um, Nick's got work for the next few days and I've got a lot of work to do on my laptop so yeah I think we're just gonna do a lot of chilling and relaxing um, enjoy some good food at home and catch up on work <laughs> 